Get the junk out of my temple. Get the junk out of my temple. And I'll tell you, he got violent about taking that junk out of the temple. He got violent about taking that junk out of the temple. Why? Because Almighty God, Jesus Christ, was sending his heavenly host for the battle. He's sending his host for the battle. His heavenly host. Do you all, uh, those that have come to our meetings, we've had, uh, uh, we've had a, a dove manifestation across this ceiling. We've had angels around the walls in, in these little meetings. God is about to do something, my dear people. You say, who us? That's right. Look over your shoulder, Gideon. Look over your, sh your shoulder. Verse 15, for, thou, for the place wherein thou standest is holy. His temple is holy. And he wants the junk out of our temple. What is that junk, my dear people? It's mostly words. It's mostly words. We get in trouble with our words. That's how we get in trouble. It's true. My dear people, <clears throat> It takes courage to serve God. It takes courage to serve God in this day and age. It takes courage to stand, against up, stand up against sin and wickedness. It takes courage to stand up against demons in this day and age. And the world's full of them. God is looking for a holy remnant. That's what he told me. A holy remnant. You know what the remnant is? That's the leftovers. You know, I don't know how many people are in this town. Praise God, I believe this is the remnant. I believe this is the remnant. They're not hung up with something. That's right. God knows who you are. You say, who me? Man, I'm 80 years old. That's all right, Gideon. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. This town is not going to go. What's going to hit? What's hit it? I'm here to tell you. You must remember, Carol and I have been in intercession for this city for six years. We're not the only ones. You better believe it. You better believe it. God is looking for a holy remnant who will turn to, listen to me, will turn to each other, not on each other. Not on each other. A holy remnant who wants to become a house of purity so that we may become a house of prayer, so that we may become a house of power, so that we may become a house of perfected praise. Then what happens? Praise God. We'll take this town for Jesus. Amen. Then what will happen? We'll take Dover for Jesus. Amen. Then we'll take Folkestone for Jesus. Amen. We'll take this country for Jesus. I had someone say to me the other day, but my bit, well, I, well, our church has got a vision. We're going to go to Europe. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'll worry about Europe <clears throat> when the teacher that's teaching my kids is saved. When my next door neighbor is saved, when my postman is saved, then I'll worry about Europe. Let's get our neighbors saved first. Amen. Let's worry about this town. Let's worry about Deal and the surrounding communities and the villages. It's time. It's time. The fields are white unto harvest, and we are His body. We are His body. My dear people, God is preparing a, a new and fearless generation that is willing to take this town for God. Are we going to put you on the street corners? No. We're going to stand up for God. We're going to stand up for God. I should say get on our knees for God. That's what it's going to take. 
God is doing a new thing in the earth. God is preparing his people to stand in the place that he has called us to stand. As disciples and together as the body of Christ. Together. My dear people, we have a blood covenant we cannot lose. We have a blood covenant that has been paid for by our Lord Jesus Christ. A blood covenant, a new covenant, a second covenant, a better covenant. Sealed by God's own Son, Jesus Christ. The captain of the host is ready. The captain of the host is ready. He has his sword drawn in his hand. God is sending his heavenly host to do battle. But I tell you people, if we don't do something, they stand around. Did you know that? They stand around. We have to speak the words for them to do battle. God's word, it is written, it is written. Why? For the fields are white unto harvest. It is time to take our cities and our towns and our villages for God, for Jesus Christ and our nation. Because you see, my dear people, Jesus Christ is the liberator. He brings freedom from sickness and disease, poverty, oppression, and depression. Does he not? And if you remember, I believe it was last week's message. We, as the body of Christ, must be, bring freedom. We must bring freedom. Why? So that the captives can be set free. So that the captives can be set free. Why? So they can get saved. See, we think we should get them saved first. We've got to set them free in the Spirit. That's how it's done. That's through prayer and intercession. And that's what we're going to be teaching about beginning tomorrow night. I call it boot camp. <laughs> Why? Because we have to learn how. We have to learn how. The Bible calls it by reason of use. Practice. By reason of use. We have to practice. We have to learn how. The Lord told me, and this is us running out the door. <clears throat> I scribbled it down here so I wouldn't forget it. The Lord told me to lay hands on each and every one of you that are going to participate to impart courage. Impart courage. To impart courage. So that fear will not come against you. Amen? Amen? So I'm going to be obedient to the Lord. I'm going to lay hands on you and impart courage. That's what he told me. So I'd run out the door. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we just give you all the praise and the honor and the glory this evening for your message.